What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So as you can see, we are in the Model S today and I want to use this video to touch on the recall and what it caused the holiday update to entail as far as changes for autopilot, navigate on autopilot, auto steer, all of this, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it increased the nag, like I said, and this thing got a ton of negative press for the wrong reasons. Tesla does enough dumb stuff, Musk does enough dumb stuff, right, to warrant these negative reactions for factual reasons. The reasons behind this recall and the way the media blew it up are not factual at all. So I want to show you exactly what this update entails and the changes done to show you just how much more frequently now you will have to actually not only be paying attention, but actually touching the wheel. Staring at the wheel, staring at the screens, sometimes do not even warrant it to stop triggering you to touch the wheel or pay attention. A little bit frustrating, but it's all in the interest of safety. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so this quote unquote recall that Tesla had to take part of, thanks to safety concerns we'll say, has been a subject of a lot of, let's just say, biased media reports, claiming it's one thing when really it's another. This was not admitting that Tesla's autopilot or FSD was a failure. It is more so to make sure people are utilizing it the correct way in the way it's intended. So it has added a ton of new additional alerts to make sure you're aware and messing with your yoke or holding onto your steering wheel as it's designed to. It always says you're supposed to take, you know, keep a hand on the steering wheel and make sure you're able to take action as needed. So we are actually heading to the latest Tesla showroom here in Jacksonville and I wanted to activate it and show you guys how sensitive it is and all of that. I will call out, this is only navigate on autopilot, it is not FSD. If you guys had FSD as well, you would be aware of just how sensitive it was in that manner. Now everybody with um, not using FSD and just using uh, autopilot is gonna be impacted the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you see right off the bat, it says, please keep your hand on the yoke and make sure you have that alert going. Even moving it now, it knows I'm having my phone and it's not letting me out. Did you see how sensitive that was? I had to turn it off. So I'm gonna turn it back on and you see again, it knows I'm not looking and now I'm getting the alert and it finally cleared. So hands off for a minute. Watch how frequently this will come up. We will give it a minute and that is all it took. Apply a slight turning force to the yoke. It's still flashing even though I'm putting my hand on it. Unless I'm specifically looking forward, it knows that I am not using it as intended. That is how tight and finicky Navigate on Autopilot has become with this latest, again, recall. I'm not even looking at the phone now. I'm purely paying attention up front, but I'm getting all of these alerts um, in a pretty, pretty quick turnaround. A little bit crazy. So again, just as full self-driving has, you can now get suspended from Navigate on Autopilot, which is definitely a little disappointing and concerning. I am going to turn it off so I don't get a uh, ding for this and turn it back on for a second. And again, instantly, it recognizes I'm not doing something. It is a little frustrating for those of us that use it, but put it down for a second and you can see it just kicked me out just like that pretty insane so now i will have a strike basically on my account for this worth it to show you guys i wanted you guys to know what you are going to be expecting when you get this holiday update um, again i get it i know why they did it but just keep in mind exactly what you're going to be getting so i did just want to stop and show you this is the warning you will get if you improperly use auto steer it says telemetry from your vehicle indicates improper use of auto steer beta keep your hands on the wheel and remain attentive at all times auto steer beta will no longer operate if autopilot disables for additional time so as you guys can see it is definitely more of a hassle than what it ever was prior however it's all in the best interest for safety and to make sure it is being operated as it is intended as you can also tell the exaggeration that happened with this recall was pretty crazy. However, here we are. This is what we have to look forward to for the near future. And now you guys have an idea of what to look at. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.